What is good YouTube, what's you here with a video on Avengers Doomsday and Secret Wars. So, there's some pretty interesting information going around now about Avengers 5 and Avengers 6. As we know, they will be shooting Avengers Doomsday early next year, Ruben Lee March in England, because they get a huge tax rebate for filming in England. Why do you think all movie studios try to shoot in England? Why do you think Deadpool and Wolverine shot in England? Because they got, I think it's like 25% of the budget back. So, if you're on new around, make sure to never miss any of the Marvel, DC, Kaiju, Monsterverse, Pop Budget Bates content that I try to deliver on a day basis. Go to the channel, turn notifications on, and let me know how freaking excited are you for Avengers Doomsday. So, before we go over Avengers Doomsday, the alleged plot for Kang's Dynasty has come out. Now, I think it'd be interesting to go over that to see how is it different to the alleged plot leak that we're going to go over for Doomsday. There's a very interesting difference between the two. So if you could follow us on Instagram, that was you to see the beautiful face one of your voice checks out on Twitter. Let's get into it. So this is alleged. I don't believe some of it. So it was always known that the Avengers were going to lose in Kang's Dynasty and in Secret Wars, they were essentially going to come back and by the end of the movie they would win essentially but this has got a little bit a little bit more details so it's written like this the tva began gathering anchor beings from across the multiverse i mean they mentioned an anchor being in deadpool and wolverine but that didn't really go anywhere did it let's be honest believing they are the only ones powerful enough to defeat the council of kangs now, this is where I already questioned this. Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield were the anchors of their respected realities, whilst Tom Holland, Spider-Man, serves as the anchor of Earth-616. Does he, though? Because he's owned by Sony, I don't really believe that's going to be the case. The movie was intended to be a smaller in scope compared to Secret Wars. What? When the same people were saying there were 70 different characters appearing in this movie before it got the title change. Focusing more on Holland, Peter Parker, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Hugh Jamman, Wolverine and other anchors like Nicholas Cage Ghost Rider. If you believe that, you believe anything. The plan was for all of them to ultimately fail, leading to the collapse of the multiverse and Kang creation of Battle World. This would then set the stage for Secret Wars, where other MCU characters and additionally the multiverse figures would converge on Battle World. So this just seems to me like they're basically telling you the basic plot of what could have been. Now, what is interesting here is. This one here tries to tell you what's going to happen in Secret Wars. So let's just run with it before we go over the Doomsday alleged plot. Secret Wars, the TVA send a team of multiversal Avengers. They have secretly recruited, led by Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool to save the 616 Avengers and defeat the Council of Kangs forever. Okay, this was obviously before they changed and pivoted to Doom. Now what's interesting here is, from what I understand from talking to people, Doctor Doom was always in the play. Doctor Doom was always going to show up at some point. So the fact that neither of these say anything about Doctor Doom doesn't really tell me much. In fact, I went over a video about over a year ago basically saying the Avengers would die and would fail in Kang's Dynasty in a secret war. Basically saying the same thing as that. But this is coming from the Twitter sphere. It's all over the place. So I thought it'd be worth going over a little bit. Now, as for the Doomsday storyline, this is where it kind of gets a little bit interesting. I think it gets a little bit interesting because there is some different versions going around, but you'll realize in a minute when I go over it. So a big factor of Doomsday allegedly is Battle World, Battle World, Battle World. It just seems like people have read the comics and they just want to throw the word Battle World out there. Or it seems like they don't know anything, so they're just going to throw the word Battle World out there. So Dr. Doom's plan in Doomsday. Doom isn't truly evil. He believes he's saving the multiverse from incursions. The incursions have already started. So what you're on about, bro? Does anyone actually follow what's happened in the movies? The incursions have already started. He's stopping them. They've already started. According to his twisted logic, the only way for the multiverse to survive and to unify all the universes is in one place. Battle World. Under his rule, he sees this as the sole path to ensure survival for everyone. Sounds pretty generic and doesn't really tell you that much. But it does tell you a lot. It tells you that in this plot information, you know me, I roll it as if it's real, even if it's not. It essentially tells you the ending is going to be Battle World, which 
A lot of people seem to think that was going to set up. So this has also come up from, I, I can't really say any scoop is reliable, let's be honest, because the biggest scoopers so far have all got things wrong. In fact, they got a lot of stuff wrong about Deadpool and Wolverine. I mean, so it's hard for me to skip. I don't give anyone precedence. So this is coming from a dis scooper, if you like. There won't be a battle world in the MCU. Doom will cause the greatest incursion merging many universes into one and irreversible collapsing the entire multiverse. How will he do it? By sitting on Loki's throne. So what does this mean? It means he's going to kill Loki. Now, it means he's going to consume all Loki's power and consolidate it all into one place, which I guess you could say is basically the same thing as Battleworld. A lot of people seem to think the void that was focused and shown in Deadpool Wolverine is Battleworld. I don't really understand why people are saying that. So this just seems to me like Loki's going to die, Doom's going to take his power, and then Doom is going to get his god-level powers and be able to control the multiverse on a much higher level than Loki can. And that, that's because Doom's got to get his powers from somewhere, presumably. Then we had this information come out. And to be honest, I think this is actually pretty obvious if they are going to include Battleworld. All MCU projects releasing between Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. They are not prequels and will be set in Battleworld via Daniel RPK. Interesting. So Daniel RPK did come out, actually. I do give him credit for this. He came out and basically did something that no other scooper does. He came out and said he was wrong. He came out and said he was massively wrong on certain details for Deadpool and Wolverine, which is fair enough. But my only gripe with this is, if Spider-Man 4 is going to be set between Doomsday and Battleworld, do you really think Sony is going to let their whole movie take place and be really Avengers-level movie? It's going to be set in Battleworld. Do you really think they're going to be letting their movie be set in Battleworld? I don't actually think that's going to be the case. I really don't think that's going to be the case at all. But these plot details are interesting. The whole Doom gets his powers from consuming Loki, that's been around the internet for a while. It's been flowing around Twitter for a while. Now, as I always say, I don't know if any of this information is true. It does seem like a pretty simpleton storyline. So instead of Kang rule in the multiverse, they're just going to give it to Doom instead, realistically. And if that Kang Dynasty plot it was true, I assume a bunch of Avengers are going to die as well, realistically. So the foundation for Doomsday is essentially to set up Secret Wars, presumably, because the movie is called Secret Wars, so they're going to have to use a lot of the material from Secret Wars. So it's almost like instead of Thanos wiping out the universe in half, Doom wants to put everyone in one place under his reign, which sounds interesting. As we know, the whole Robert Downey Jr. being Doctor Doom is its a misdirection, it's a mislead. There will be other Dooms. I don't believe they've brought Robert Downey Jr. back just to play Doctor Doom. I still think they should get Killian Murphy to come in and play Iron Man or get Killian Murphy to come in and play the real God Emperor of Doom or some variation. You know, that would be pretty cool. But, you know, there's a lot of theories going around. There's the infamous Iron Man. And no one actually believes. And I think for Kevin Feige is quite carefully clever in how they revealed it because they haven't really revealed anything other than it's a multiverse storyline. It's called Doomsday. RDJ is playing Victor Doom, apparently. But they haven't said anything. So it spiraled all these scoopers to make up information and say they know exactly what is happening when realistically they don't. Whichever way you word it, if they are going to consolidate everything to one place, it's essentially Battle World, but they're most likely not going to call it that. It could be called New Earth. Just could be called a different Earth. No one actually knows if this Battle World storyline is actually going to be called this in the MCU. It could just be like a New Earth, if you like, if you want to go like that way. But to say every movie is going to be set in Battleworld between Avengers Doomsday and Secret Wars, that's realistically between May 2026 and May 2027. So whatever movies come out between there will be set in Battleworld. And I don't believe Sony would allow Marvel to have their movie solely in Battleworld. It doesn't really make that much sense. So if we are going to go down that road, Spider-Man 4 would have to be a prequel because Spider-Man is a street-level character, let's be honest. To have him in a doomsday kind of battle world storyline in a you know continuity movie that obviously does have pieces and will set up other things being set in battle worlds sounds a bit stupid to me but yeah that's some information going around at the moment it just seems like they've shifted kang they've just replaced kang with doom and pretty much that's it realistically it seems like it is somewhat going to be the exact same storyline from what people are trying to tell you, not from what I think, I think the storyline's going to be way different to what people are expecting. 
It's just interesting if any of this information is true. But, you know, it's all a guessing game. Even if you are a scooper, it's all a guessing game. But I do like covering this Doomsday stuff, this Marvel stuff, and I will be covering much, much more Marvel stuff going forward. So please subscribe, please like, please check us out on Instagram at Wood Stew. And I will catch you in another video, guys, very soon. Catch ya later.